another Wednesday, another chapter in the book of Ecclesiastes. Hope you had fun reading Ecclesiastes chapter one last week. It really is an interesting book and it makes you really think about how you're spending your life, how you're spending your money, how you're spending your time. What is worth it? Ecclesiastes chapter two is going to carry that theme. What is the meaning of life here on this earth under the sun? Not, not spiritual going to heaven, but what are you going to be doing here right now? Chapter two is entitled Chasing After the Wind. Chasing After the Wind is, is similar to chapter one. It's a similar idea and also a recurring theme throughout the entire book. The main point of chapter two is this. All of the experiences and all of the pleasures in this life won't make you feel fulfilled. Now, that might be tough to swallow for some of us because we want experiences. We want pleasures. We want the adrenaline rush of the different things that we can see and do in this life. Solomon reminds us, hey, I've done everything. I've had access to any and every pleasure of this world. And let me tell you right now, it's not going to fulfill you. You're just going to keep wanting more. That's why the key verse in chapter 2 is from verse 10. Solomon says, whatever my eyes desired, I did not withhold from them. I did not hold my heart back from any pleasure. Now, this was his test. He was, he was going to indulge in anything he possibly wanted. He was not going to restrain himself from anything. Now, he wants us to learn from his mistakes. No reason to pursue those things at all. And you'll see in chapter 2 that he starts to list some of the things that he did and some of the things that he experienced. And a lot of those things, we think, I'd love to do that. Or I, I want to do that. Or I want to have that. Solomon says, don't bother. I've done it. Don't bother. You don't know what you're getting into. What you need to know for chapter 2, well, there are, there are kind of three different sections in chapter 2. Solomon says all the experiences that he's had, yeah, they aren't really worth it. And all the wisdom that he gained, it's not really worth it. And all the work that he did, well, that's not really worth it either. And that's that last section, the, the work section, that's going to carry over into chapters three and four and a little bit with five as well. It's kind of a reoccurring theme once again. This chapter in chapter two is evident, evidence that Solomon probably wrote this at the very end of his life because he talks about all the things that he has done in the past and all the things that he has experienced. And now he is going to share his knowledge with you. Please learn from me, he is saying. He's always begging you, don't fall into the same trap I did and pursue all of these different things that this world entices you with because it's really not going to work in the end. What else you need to know is that in verse 24 and 25, Solomon comes back to a theme that he he repeats over and over again. It has to do with being content, being satisfied. And I'm going to repeat it a couple times too in these next chapters. I don't want you to get bored with it. I don't want to just kick a dead horse. But this is important. As Solomon chases after all of these different things, he comes back to, you know what? If you're content, you're going to be okay. I encourage you to highlight every one of these instances as you come across these in Ecclesiastes. Highlight them or underline them or put a star next to them in the margins, something to you know, jog your memory when your eye hits them the next time around you go through Ecclesiastes. The meaning of life, according to Ecclesiastes chapter 2, it's not experiencing everything you can. This might have to do with the younger generations that they want to have as many experiences. They want to travel. They want to see things. They want to do things. And this might also have to do with 
those of you who are newly retired. You want to travel. You want to do things. You want to see things. You have a bucket list. You need to get these done. Solomon says, I've experienced just about everything. That's not the reason why you're here. Don't put a whole lot of time and effort into getting those things done. Time to read Ecclesiastes chapter 2. And remember, as you read through this, Solomon is just listing off everything he, he has done and experienced in order to find fulfillment. It doesn't work. But he does come to the conclusion, when you are content, when you are satisfied and happy with what the Lord is giving you right now, that's a huge blessing from the Lord that you should never take for granted. Have a fun time of reading Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, and remember, uh, just get a hold of me if you have any questions. Have a good rest of the day.